everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well i am filming a little vlog style video for you today just sharing with you guys some behind the scenes of what i get up to and what my desk looks like um, and some of the planning that i've got to do today so it is currently thursday the 28th of january um, so we're approaching, you know, the end of week four of schools being closed in the UK and having to teach from home online. Um, so yeah, I hope you find this video um, interesting and entertaining um, and let me know if you'd like to see more of these like vlog style videos. I just had my lunch break uh, it has just gone two o'clock and um, I'm feeling a little bit lazy to be honest I've had a bit of a productive week so far and it has um, you know it's come to that time of the week where I just feel like I, I need to slow down and this always happens I'm very sort of focused Monday Tuesday Wednesday as well and then I wake up on a Thursday and I'm like oh when is the weekend so um, I know why I'm feeling this way but that being said, there's definitely a few things I need to make sure that I stay on top of so that um, it doesn't eat into my weekend. So I'll show you a little bit of how I plan for that and how I know what to prioritise. Um, but I'm just having a tea. Uh, this is a tea pigs peppermint. I love peppermint tea. It's my favourite tea. Um, and let me show you my desk, actually, so you can see my setup. Okay, that is my desk there. That's exactly where I was sat and that's where I had you propped up on. Um, this desk is one that I got last summer for literally a tenner, so £10 uh, on Gumtree, which is like a secondhand website if you're not in the UK. And it essentially is an old IKEA desk and it has sort of like this cover that you can, um, you know, remove so it can be really easy to store. But yeah, I've just got some like uh, printing paper, some files, some folders, uh, some memorabilia in that one. And then on this side, I have some cables. Um, and then I also have some stationery, uh, obviously some snacks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've got my Kindle and just like some washi tape, some additional pens, the smallest pencil case ever, my headphones. Um, and some rulers and then in this one is just like pretty much empty uh, just some file storage oh actually this is a toy that I am really looking forward to learn it is a graphics tablet that should hopefully replace a visualizer so um let me know if you've used one of these I am about to learn how to use it hopefully next week if I um, have a bit of time Okay, and then on top of those drawers, I've got um, all of my journals. I know it looks a bit excessive, but I literally just bought these. So these I'm going to be using really soon. Uh, this is from a website called uh, Book Block. Uh, this is a art journal, uh, just to encourage me to come off the screen and do some, you know, um, mindful activities. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then this one is, um, going to be replacing my bullet journal um, that I use for work so it's really pretty they're both customizable this is my current uh, bullet journal for work you might have seen it in previous videos but I'm literally finishing it I've got literally this much left um, so if you'd like me to show you some behind the scenes of my work bullet journal let me know but then on this side, I've got some other journals. I've got a one line a day that I'm currently doing. I've got a gratitude journal. And then I've got the book that I'm currently reading. I'm literally just finishing it up. I've um, got a headband, lipstick for when I'm doing my live lessons, just to give me a bit of color. And then I've got my stationery here. So the, these are the three items that I use. So I use both of these for my bullet journal. It's got like a, um, a soft brush. I like to just use that as a highlighter and then I've got my Muji pen and then this little booklet is where I'm taking my registers and any notes from the lessons so I find that very very useful obviously my mug of tea I've got my lamp that sort of is a touch lamp and then on this side I have my A-level biology setup 
so obviously I teach a lot of A-level um, classes and so it's really important that I've got a textbook to hand. I use these little tabs for the topics that I'm currently teaching. Then I've got the little workbook that has just come out. It's very, very good. If you teach A-level biology, definitely check this one out. And then I've got my little journal notepad thing where I take notes on the topics as I'm revising them and also just look out for some key information to let students know. Then I got some water. That's my personal bullet journal uh, that I like to keep to hand just to also, you know, establish that work-life balance and remind myself of the habits that I'm building, the goals that I've set, the tasks that I have to do for my personal life. And then I've got my uh, laptop stand, my laptop. That's essentially what I work from. But I also have been using this TV screen as a second screen. So I've got a cable that just connects. And then that way, if I need to use two screens for whatever reason, I can do that, but I don't do that most of the time. And that's it. That's sort of like at a glance, my current desk setup, not tidy, not organized, literally just as it was to show you guys the real behind the scenes. cleared my inbox of any emails that needed to be archived so what I like to do is I have lots of folders on the side of my email inbox and I just drag any emails that don't need to be clustering my inbox into those folders so I archive them uh, so that my inbox is just a working space of any emails that I still need to respond to or that I need to read uh, through the information um, etc. So my inbox um, currently has about 10 yeah, about 10 emails that I still need to action, but I've just gone through a whole bunch and um, also wrote down um, in my um, bullet journal uh, any items that I still need to action, but they don't need to be in my inbox because, um, you know, sometimes I think it's really important just to take the key information from those emails um, that are relevant to you. So that's how I do my emails and manage that. Um, what I'm now going to do is I have written a little mini to-do list. So I've done the emails. I'm now going to prep tomorrow. So on Google Classroom, I have to schedule all of the lessons for the following day. So that tomorrow morning at eight o'clock, all of those lessons are, you know, live for my students to see. Um, and then any remote lessons the students should, can just get on with. Um, it doesn't have to be at the scheduled uh, lesson time. Um, and then any live lessons, I just need to schedule it for a specific time uh, for students to, to click on the Google Meet link. But I just want to also make sure I've got those resources ready to go as well. Uh, so that's what I'm going to focus on now. Um, a couple of things that I use when I'm doing this, obviously Google Classroom. Then I use Google Slides, Pear Deck. Google Jamboard and a Google Drive with all of the resources. So then I close my email inbox tab so I don't get distracted. Uh, sometimes I put on a playlist of some music to listen to, depends on how well I'm focused. Um, and then I also switch my phone onto airplane mode and I set a timer. Uh, so then I can actually work through that list of lessons I need to schedule prep and plan and I can do that fairly efficiently uh, because it's something that I can spend hours and hours doing so I think it's really important to establish some boundaries so that you're really clear on how long you've got to spend on this particular task. show you how I film a Loom video uh, to go alongside a lesson. So this is a scheduled lesson I've just prepped for my year 10 class um, and this is the PowerPoint that I want them to work through. So all I do is I click on that and then I um, you know put open with Google Slides and then what I will do is I've already installed the Loom 
um, extension here for Chrome. So I install that so it just pops up there. And then I will click on that and I will record. Um, in this case, I'm gonna to choose to do it with the camera um, just so I can they can see me and they you can see me there. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna record a loom. I just press start recording. It will count down three, two, one. I will present it as a um, PowerPoint, as a slideshow, I mean, and then I will just talk through it and explain the key concepts and then stop the recording and that will generate a link. And then I will post that link onto this assignment. So I will just go to edit and then add that link for that Loom tutorial. But that's essentially how I do it. And I think it's really, really useful. So I'll show you once it's done. Uh, see what you already know. I want you to um, try to remember what the five senses are. So not necessarily where in the body you're getting those senses from, um, but exactly what the five senses are. As a little extension, then write the sense organ. So what is the organ that is responsible for those senses? Question number two, what is the cell of the nervous system called? You might remember from our live lesson um, a couple of days ago. And then number three, what structures are in the nervous system? What do you already know? What are those organs called? So pause the video and just answer those questions now. Okay, I'm also just prepping a lesson for year nine, um, which is a transition lesson talking about math skills in the GCSE science spec. Um, and I just wanted to quickly show you how I'm using Pear Deck. So the first thing is you just want to make sure that this is saved as a um, Google Slides. And if it just says PPT, so PowerPoint there in the corner, you just want to go to File and then there will be an option um, underneath to make a copy that says Save as Google Slides. Um, so make sure that it is a Google Slides and then once it is, you just go on to Add-ons and then there should be the option for Pear Deck. If there isn't, just click on Get Add-ons and then Install Pear Deck. Um, now Pear Deck, once you click on that and open, this will pop up. And what you do is you just navigate through the template library or these options here um, in the corner of how students can interact with each slide and you just click on them. So I'll give you an example here. I have just modified this slide to have a draw function. I'm going to do it on this slide so you can see. So what I would do is I would just click on draw and then that enables this slide and it updates it so it has that interactive ability to be drawn on and that's it. Now obviously I don't want the answer to appear so I'm just changing this pre-made PowerPoint and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that answer box so that when students see this um, they are able to see exactly um, where they went wrong and, and what they've done. I'm just quickly tweaking this out of the way there, making that a little bit smaller and perfect. No, not perfect. There we go. Okay, so what students will see is that they will see the slide and they will be able to write in their answer there. And then when it moves on to the next slide, it will show them the answer. I don't need that slide to have a draw function anymore. So I just click on that and I delete it. And that removes that draw function. Now what you need to do is you go to start the lesson in this green corner. And once you click on that, it is going to give you these two options. Because this lesson is going to be um, not live, so it's a remote learning lesson, I'm gonna click on this one. And what that will do is it will give me a link to share with my students. Okay, so this has happened a few times now. Essentially what I need to do is I need to save this Google slide onto my personal um, Google Drive. So what I will need to do is just go to the Google Drive um, folder there and just save that into my personal drive and then that will allow me to do it. For some reason it's doing this, which I'm not really sure why that's the case. Anyways, just wanted to quickly show you the behind the scenes and how to use Pear Deck. Um, and now I will just finish tweaking this lesson and then that will be it for my year nine lesson.
Okay guys, so I have planned most of my lessons for tomorrow. I just have um, one and a half left to do, uh, but I've got parents evening next. So I'm just gonna get ready for that. And then between some of the appointments, um, I'll just finish that prep. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good because I did get through all of these little bits that I was, um, you know, that have been on my mind and I just wanted to make sure I cleared off so they don't eat into my weekend. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed this video and seeing my desk and sort of seeing how I prep lessons and how I tackle my inbox and my to-do lists um, and that you got something from it. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Um, and I'd also really love to hear a little bit about how you organize your time and how you like to have your desk set up um, if you're able to share that. And if you've got any particular requests of things you would like me to share in the behind the scenes of these vlog style videos, then just uh, let me know by leaving a comment down below. Okay guys, so I will see you next week. Take care.